I've been uh, teaching, um, I've been teaching Tai Chi since uh, 2012. I got certified in a couple of different types with Dr. Paul Lam. Um, I also got certified in another type, um, Taji Kwan for better balance. And now I'm currently um, learning uh, a different uh, type of Tai Chi. It's called Taji Fit, which actually is by David Dorian Ross. And he is a uh, multi gold medal Tai Chi master winner, Olympic gold medal uh, winner. And he's also a veteran. So he actually developed a Tai Chi for veterans program. So I'm looking forward to kind of getting involved with that. And, you know, just the more I, I just enjoy learning about Tai Chi. So, you know, there might be some new things that I share with you folks tonight. So in any event, I know we only have about a half hour. So let's get started. So let's begin um, the three uh, intentful enhancements or the things that we like to focus in on our uh, tai Chi practice. We want to focus in on our breath, bringing our mind into the practice and also posture. So let's first focus on breathing and also allowing our, you know, thoughts, our mind to just kind of focus on that. And then we'll go through a couple of postural adjustments as well. So let's begin. Um, let's at least firmly plant the feet down on the floor. And we also want to let the shoulders roll back for a moment. And then let the top of the head lengthen up. And just let the arms relax down by your side. So let's begin with enhancing our breath, bring our mind into the practice. So as we do that, you want to think about inhaling very deliberately and purposely, deeper than what you normally do. Pause for a moment and then exhale out, nice and easy. And so you want to at least exhale for as long as you inhale. If you can exhale out a little bit longer, that makes it a little bit more relaxing. So let's take a few moments, inhaling deeply through the nose, pausing for a moment at the top, and then allowing that breath to ebb and let's do that for several more breath cycles, inhaling nice and deeply, pausing for a moment, and exhaling out deeply. And as you go through this enhanced breathing, uh, one of the most important things about um, Tai Chi is intention, you know, being intentful, being um, intentional, I should say, and deliberate in our movements, but also intentional about what it is that you want to accomplish. You know, as you go through the breathing, think about, you know, are you having a migraine today? Do you have pain anywhere? Um, do you have other issues or anything like that? Have you had a stressful day? What are some of these things that you want your practice to help you? with today. And so make that part of the visualization, part of your practice is where you want this healing chi to be directed towards to help you feel better. So let's do a two more of these nice, deep, enhanced breathing cycles. One more. Now that we continue with the breathing, but now let's bring our attention to our posture. So posture, good posture, is about having the feet facing forward and being aware of the big toe, little toe, and the heel. And we can do this, we can gently rock back and forth and we start to feel how the, the balance mechanisms kick in in the body. But just gently rocking back and forth. And if you have any balance issues, make sure there's something nearby for you to hold on to if you need to. Let the knees be soft. And let yourself settle. Let the feet settle. Let the knees settle. And then bring your attention up. That lower Dantian, that belly button area. This is also our center of gravity. 
So we want to just lift that navel up just slightly so that we feel like the tailbone is able to slide down under the body a little bit. And we feel the lengthening of the lumbar vertebrae. So let's just do that just a couple of times, lifting up a little bit more so we feel that length and then release. And then let's do that one more time and release. And then just kind of settle into that position. We're going to go all the way up to the top of the head now, now that we have that length in the tailbone. And we want to feel like the top of the head is on a string or maybe like a balloon and it's lengthening up towards the heavens. So what we want to feel is not that the chin lifts, but that the jaw is lengthening away from your collarbone. So you feel that length in the neck. And here also, if you put the tongue to the roof of the mouth, that will also help to engage those neck muscles a little bit better. So that'll help you have that feeling. So that feeling, now we want to feel like the top of the head is lengthening up and away. The tailbone stays down. So we want to feel that stretch in the spine. And then we want to bring our attention to the shoulders, the arms. We almost want to feel like the arms and the legs are pulling us back down to the earth. So we feel that they are helping us stay grounded while at the same time, we feel that length in the spine that's going to help us improve that posture and also help to improve the chi flow through the body. So letting those shoulders relax down, feeling the length, the jaw away from the collarbone, allowing the facial muscles to relax, the muscles around the jaw, especially if you've been, you know, kind of gritting your teeth today, allowing the cheek muscles to relax, the eyes to relax, the forehead. So everything below the top of the head is relaxing down, the top of the head and the spine are lengthening up. And then let's incorporate that breath into this better posture. So we want to keep that breathing going throughout the practice. But in the meantime, now let's start to do a few little warm up um, movements. So the warm up movements are designed, not all Tai Chi classes have warm ups, but being a fitness person, I always do warm ups. And one of the certifications I had had warm ups. So we will do that now. So we're going to start with what I call embracing the sunrise. So before we go to that, we're going to lift the arms up and sink down. And when we sink down, we want to sink like this. We want to sink into the hips, sink into the legs, not necessarily, bend, you know, put our body weight into the knees, but sink here. And then as we lift up, you want to kind of lift yourself up a little bit, lifting with the wrists, elbows relaxed, and then sink down. Feeling how natural it is to inhale on the lift. And let those hands just fold and come down. You want to feel that the fingers are relaxed. You want to feel their space between the fingers and down. Inhaling, this is called raising the power or lifting the earth energy and down. Because we do get a lot of energy from the earth. Inhaling up. And notice not too high, just right there about chest level. Because remember, in Tai Chi, we only want to work at 70%. We don't want to go 100%. We want to slow it down. Because when we slow it down and go like this, um, we're actually working the deep muscles in the um, around the joints that help us stabilize the joints. And so that's what makes this such a good balance practice. And it also allows our mind to just focus on the movements. 
Inhale up one more time and down. Now let's inhale up in front. You're going to turn the palms, gather chi, pull it to you, pull the chin back. Engage our chi, push it all out, nice and slow. Remember a bend and relax, and then let this come down, let the head and neck come down. So inhale as we come up. Turn those palms, draw in. Press out. And down. Let's do one more of these. Up. Turn in, out, and down. Good, let's bring that head up. Now let's go up to the shoulders. So what we wanna do in the shoulders is very small, deep arm rolls. Like we're trying to roll the arm bone in the shoulder joint. That acts to kind of massage that shoulder joint. So keeping the posture, Keeping the breath, let's just roll those arm bones in the shoulder joint, nice small little movements. So you don't feel like the shoulders are lifting up so much as you feel that arm bone is moving in the shoulder joint. Now let's take that in reverse. We're gonna pull that out and notice my shoulders are pretty much staying level, but my arm bone is doing that movement, I'm rolling, the arm bone into that shoulder joint, deeply, but softly. And always go to the point of sensation, not to the point of pain. And now let's allow those palms to stay open. Shoulders are back. You wanna feel like the shoulder blades are kind of open and slid down the back a little bit. At the same time, we wanna feel like the sternum is lifted up. And now let's take this chi. You might feel your hands are tingling a little bit because that's because your shoulder joints have opened. Let's gather this chi all around us up and let it sink down. And remember, going at 70%. So you want to go all the way up and you want to lift, you want to let that arm bone roll in the shoulder joint and then let the arm just float down. Inhale on the lift. Down. And as those hands come down, thinking about bathing the head, the face, and all this wonderful chi to help you relax, to help any migraines that you might be having or have had, and just intentfully or intentionally, I always keep saying that the wrong way, just allowing that chi energy to bathe the face all the way down the front of the body. Let's do one more of these. Kind of shake out just a little bit. So let's do a little uh, torso, a little core movement. So let's let the palms, the elbows relax down. Your palms are right by your side. And you're just going to gently move from one side to the other. So you want to keep your elbows far enough back so you're not swinging the arms. Right now, I just want you to focus on just rotating the body, which you should rotate to about 45 degrees, and then come back to center, and then rotate to the other side. And what you'll feel is you should feel that movement all the way down. You'll feel that primarily in the mid body where you feel those muscles, those oblique muscles wrapping around your mid body and the spine. And just allow yourself the shoulders to relax and just allow yourself to gently move side to side. One more. Each side. and then back to center. So let's take the chi ball. This is kind of like our main movement in a lot of our Tai Chi. This helps us move into different positions and so forth. So I want to have the top hand 
sort of level with the collarbone or right above the chi, which is your sternum. And the lower hand, the pinky could go right to your belly button or around in that area. So what we wanna do is we just wanna kind of move just the same way we did, not letting the arms dictate, but letting the body do the movement. Once we get to the side, we wanna roll that chi ball and then come to the other side. And then thinking that we're moving this healing energy from one side of the body to the other, and we want to just allow that to kind of roll nice and easy, kind of floating along. Let make sure the elbow is below the shoulder. And just let the hands and the wrist just gently, gently move from one side to the other. You might actually start to feel those hands vibrating a little bit, especially if you've been doing this a bit. One more to each side. And then back to center. And down. So let's draw some chi up. Pull it out to the sides. Press it out. And down. And just feel how you can lift up the body, pull this across the chest, out and down. Always keeping everything as soft as possible. And there's no such thing as being too slow. So you may even be going slower than me, and that's great. But the slower you go, the better the cheese go. Let's just do a few more of these. Let's stretch those knees out a little bit. So as you shift your body weight from one side to the other, that's also a Tai Chi principle. You still wanna kind of maintain your body position upright, but deliberate, feel that deliberate shifting from one side to the other and firmly plant the foot down. Remember that big toe, little toe heel and feel that nice stretch in the quadriceps. A couple more of these and then back to center. And then lastly, I'll step away a little bit. What you wanna do is lift up your heel so that you're pressing down on the toe box and then roll that heel around. And we kind of call it like you're squashing the bug. You'll probably you feel it in the ankle as you're moving along. So you're pressing the foot down and then rolling that ankle around, rolling the heel. And let's go in reverse. So just as if you were squashing the bug, you don't want to say stamping out a cigarette. That's we don't want you to be doing that. So no thinking about that. Good. And then switch sides, maintaining posture, lifting the heel, and then roll the heel so you feel like that you're kind of rubbing the, the knuckles of the feet into the ground. Those are your yang quan points too that help us gather energy up from the earth. And let's roll in the opposite direction. Okay, and down. And then let's whisk those hands together so we feel our chi. So remember, this is something you can do whenever you're feeling especially stressful. You can take this chi energy, you can stretch it, or you can also apply it if you need to. So for example, if you're having a migraine, you may wanna do this thinking of your intention. What is it that you are wanting to work on? And then take this healing chi and apply it, whether it be by the eyes, the forehead, the top of the head, wherever you need. Just feel that vibration coming from your hand. That is your own healing chi. Just put that for a few moments. 
and imagine just golden light coming from your hands and going to wherever you need it. And then gently let this come. Let's bring those hands back up one more time, twist them together. So that can happen to your knees. If you're having pain in the knees, you can do the same thing. You know, and you'll feel that heat after a while, the more that you do it. Now let's really feel it across the heart and the lung meridian too to help us relax. So let's do that typical open and close, inhaling. Fingers pointing up towards the heavens. And what's so fascinating is even though we are not all in the same room together, you know, the energy that we are cultivating, that we are radiating is being sent out to the whole world. So we are connected because energy just goes anywhere. So just think about that, this positive healing energy for your own self, but also radiating to the world. So let's um let's go to our uh, one of the movements that that's one of my favorites is called cloud hands. But we're going to practice on how to be able to do it a little bit better. So we did the rotation in the beginning. So I want you to kind of get into that rotation a little bit from side to side. Just let the arms stay by the side here for a moment. And then we're gonna actually start to add the arm. And so when you rotate, you wanna be about 45 degrees. So if I were to look down, I would still be able to see my foot, but I'm still looking in the front of the body. I don't wanna look all the way to the side. I wanna engage right to about here and then come back. And then we're going to start, let's add one arm. So the arm movement comes from the body, not from the arm pulling. But when I turn, the arm naturally will come up and then float across and then kind of fall down when I get to the side. So let's do that just on the one side. And down. Following the breath, and just letting that arm just float across. Let's do one more like that. And down. Now, let's take the other arm. As I turn, the other arm comes up, across. And remember, the elbow is always below the shoulder. Come up, nice and slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now let's add both of them together. So as I come from this side, the bottom hand is going to be down. The top hand comes across, the bottom hand scoops across. Once I get to that 45 degree angle, this hand comes down and this one comes up just like we did before when we did it singly. And still keeping that same count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One more time, and up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Now let's do a little stepping. When we step forward with Tai Chi, we usually do a heel and then roll our body weight forward. 
But with the cloud hands, this is a sidestep. So as I sidestep, and again, we want to try and feel like we're coordinating the whole body. And it's still, when I take that step out to the side, my toe touches down. And it, we call this an empty step. So when I, my toe touches down, my body weight is in this leg here. And then as I shift my body weight, I press down on the balls of the feet and then finally put the heel down when I'm about here and then follow step. And this foot follows so it's right under the hip. So let's try that a couple of times in one direction and then we'll come back and go in the other direction and then we'll put the hands to it. And so remember, I don't want to just kind of rock my whole body. I want to shift my body like a whole unit. I want to communicate with the lower body and the upper body. So let's take um, some steps to this side here. I'm going to shift my body weight to this one leg here. I'm going to step out toe and then slowly move my body across. Lift this foot up and then step down and then Go back to center and then shift again. We take three steps to one side. So remember that eight count. Just try to see if you can roll across and then back. And it's a matter of putting the body weight on one side, having an empty step, and then filling that step as you start to take it away from the other side and then come back to center. Now let's go to the other side. I'm gonna shift my body weight to this side I'm going to step that foot out, toe down, and then slowly with bent knee, shift my body weight, follow step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Let's try that one more time. Let's go the other side. So I'm going to deliberately shift that body weight onto this leg, knee is bent. I'm going to put that toe out and then slowly move my whole body and then slowly put that foot down. Then once that foot is down, then this, this foot comes up and then I shift back to center and then shift my body weight back to the side step. Back. Good. And I think that was three. So let's go to the other side. Step. Okay. So I'm completely trying to be aware and coordinate every little nuance, every part of that step. Right. And let's do one more. Okay. So now we're going to put the arms to it. So as the arm comes up, I'm stepping. This hand is high. This is the side I'm stepping to. And I put the arms right to it. Once I come over here, I shift. And then I just let the arms move to this side. Then I step. There goes hands, cross paths. And then one more time, step. Remember this bottom hand is in front. And then I just move to that side. I come back to center. I do an open and close. Now I'm going to step to the other side. So I get myself lined up. I step one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and step two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last time, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and let those hands just go to that other side one more time, all the way over, and bring it back. To center, open, close, and down. So Tai Chi 
the slower that you can go, I know it's it might seem impossible. When I first was learning it, it was very difficult. But if you can just allow yourself to just move, every part of your body is coordinating with that. And when you slow it down, that gives you that opportunity to coordinate that. So now let's cool down. I see that it is eight o'clock. So let's, um, we're going to do our little cool down. So let's stand, come back to center. Let's sink this beautiful chi that we have been working on all the way down. Let's do that two more times. And last time. Let's bring the hands back to center, prayer pose. So as always, it's been my honor and pleasure to be your guide in your practice uh, today. As I learn, I love to um, help you and, and share this knowledge that I'm learning. Um, the light and the spirits and the energy in me so values, respects, appreciates, and honors the light and the spirit and the energy in each and every one of you. Remember, we are all threads in the fabric of life. We all have something so important and valuable to do here while we're on this earthly plane. And so no matter how bad or how dark a day that you're having, you can always do a little bit of Tai Chi. You can stimulate some light in yourself so that you can radiate and that it can make you feel better. You can create those uh, those brain chemicals, those endorphins to help you feel a little bit better. So the saying in Chinese is Ni Men Hao, Jing Shen Qi, and left hand is friendship, right hand is strength, the left thumb is humility. We put those all together and bow slightly out of respect and then all right, everyone. Well, thank you very much for radiating your energy into this world. We're all feeling it no matter where we are. And I uh, hope to see you. I'll be back, I believe, May 4th. So I will see you all again. Take care now. Thanks, Susan. You're welcome. My pleasure, as always.